Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get back into a routine of things and keep myself motivated and working hard, I guess. Um, it's basically how I reset, so when I get out of my routine, this is typically what I'll do to get myself back into one and motivated again. So yeah, I hope this helps some of you guys if you're kind of stuck right now um, in your routines and stuff. And yeah, I'm filming this probably way before I'm even going to film the rest of this video. But the first thing I do in order to get back into a routine of things is to clean my room. This is the very first step I take because it just releases so much stress and is kind of therapeutic in a way. So I'm going to show you guys an overview. It's so messy because my cousins just spent the night. And so over there some stuff on the floor. My bed is an absolute disaster. Haven't made it today. And then there's a ton of stuff up there and on the floor right there. And so yeah, yeah, I have this entire thing set up. <laughs> but yeah, let's get to cleaning because I have to leave soon too. Okay, so I just went through, picked up all of the bigger things and put everything in its place. And now I'm gonna go through and wipe everything down and take out my trash and stuff like that and put all the small things in their places. Um, but I'm gonna do it off camera because I am running out of storage and I have to have room for other videos. <laughs> and so yeah. The next step is getting all of your homework that you're behind on or just projects that you need to get done or like not even school, whatever you're behind on, just get it done. And so yeah, right now I have an essay that I need to work on and I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it done. And so yeah, hopefully this motivates you guys to do yours too whatever it is that you are behind on. So let's go do it. Okay. So the next step to kind of getting back into a routine of things is taking a shower and doing some like self-care stuff. So that is what I'm going to go do right now. I need to take a shower, so we're gonna go do that. And you should do, and just take care of yourself. Um, so yeah, let's go do it. <laughs> okay, next up, manifestation. I feel like every time I manifest or anytime I do right after it just focus me it focuses me back on what I'm working so hard for um, like the path that I want to get on it just kind of reminds me of my goals and restarts my routine so it just really helps me personally but obviously if you don't believe in manifestation or you believe in something else you could also do that, like if you're religious or anything like that, you could do that, and yeah. But I personally like to manifest, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it too. So to get into kind of like the mood on Spotify, there are a ton of different playlists. You could literally just type in like high frequency 
vibration or um, anything like that. Literally a ton of them will come up and so yeah as you can see there's like all of these. Next I like to turn on my diffuser, sometimes light a candle so I'm gonna do that. Now that I have kind of like set the mood, um, now I'm going to begin my manifestation. All you'll need is a journal and um, a writing utensil. There are hundreds of different ways to manifest out there. Um, literally, you can just search it into YouTube and find whatever one works best for you. But the one I'm going to do today takes a little less time than that one does. And so you're first going to start out by writing 10 things that you are grateful for. And so yeah, let's go do that. Okay, I just finished writing the 10 things I am grateful for and I do want to mention before you write the 10 things that you're grateful for, you want to start each sentence out with I am grateful for whatever. For example, I'm grateful for my subscribers. Once you are done with that, you are going to write down three things you love about yourself. And you want to start out again with I am and then write whatever you love about yourself. So like I am determined to make my dreams come true. So something like that. Whatever you love about yourself, write it down. Once you finish with the things that you love about yourself, now you're going to move on to three things that you want to attract. And for these ones, you're going to want to make sure that you start each one with I attract and then follow it with whatever you want to attract. Like I attract happiness, I attract adventures, I attract success, I attract love, I attract abundance, anything that you would like to attract. The next one, it'll be three manifestations. So you're going to want to start these ones out with I am so happy and grateful and then continue with it. So like, I am so happy and grateful now that I am living in New York. It can literally be anything that you are wanting to work towards. It could be goals for the future. It could be literally something having to do with tomorrow. It can be whatever you want to happen in your life, write it down. Now that you have finished your manifestation, the writing down part, I recommend that you go through and you visualize yourself getting those three things that you wrote down for your manifestations. And you're going to visualize it like you are in that moment and like it has already happened and you're just in that moment right now or you could do like a manifestation meditation there are tons on youtube and they're guided and you can just visualize those manifestations coming true in that meditation so yeah now we have completely reset i feel good I feel like I can go do stuff now and get it done and I hope you guys will try this out too and tell me how you guys feel afterwards if you do all of this. Um, so yeah, thank you guys 
so much for watching um that is how i reset and motivate myself to keep going and i hope it helped some of you guys and yeah i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs>